Hey, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to share with you how I made and put together this cute little tag for some of my Halloween loving friends. This is just a little clip I found at a local store, but I'm actually turned it into a hair clip. Um, just because who doesn't want to wear a spooky glittery spider in their hair? So what we've got here to start is the two tags die. Now I didn't fold it on the score line. And we have a piece of designer series paper. This is from Frightful Sights. And I'm just going to tear the edge here first. And then I'm going to line this up along the bottom and the edge and stick it down. Take a pair of scissors and we're just going to trim the corners. But I'm not worried about it being too perfect because I'm going to take the sanding block. Now you will notice um, the new sanding blocks in the Stampin' Up! catalog are really pretty. This one is years old and it's time to replace it. So I'm just taking it along the edge of the designer series paper. I just love the look of that worn um, designer series paper and obviously the more you do it, the more color you take away and the more distressed you can have it look. And then what I've done is I took the one and, no sorry, the two and three eighths inch scallop circle and I punched it out on a corner here you can see because it's going to line up with my tag and before I do that I'm just going to clip my little spider in here so I just crop it out a hole there okay and I'm going to stick this here on my tag so there's the little hair clip part and now the little decorative tag here that you can see I'm just going to show you real quick how to make that I've got my decorative label punch here. It's hard to see, it's in the basic black. And then a one and a quarter inch circle done in the Cajun craze. And I stamped the spider web from Wicked Fun. I think it's called Wicked Fun. Stamp set in the middle in the Cajun craze. And I'm gonna just attach a little bling there. And then I've got my greeting that says have a wicked Halloween stamped and stays on and then I used um, stamped off the basic gray the bats from that same stamp, same stamp set and now I took our one and a quarter inch grow green ribbon I cut it down the middle on the um, black line I just used that as my guide and now this is the fun part I'm going to fold it in half and just kind of squeeze my inside or my middle here I'm going to feed my tag on first and you'll notice as you do that you're going to get some stray strings which is the look I'm going for. I pull it through the tag here and then so you can see here how nice and pretty and frayed that is I'm just gonna pull this through. If you pull one end at a time it kinda makes it a little easier and I just love how the frayed ribbon looks there and there we have a really cute Halloween hair clip tag. So there's two of them there. I hope you like them and uh, thanks so much for stopping by today. Check out my blog stampwithheather.ca for all the details. Have a great day.